to you from Brooklyn. There she is, your national champion winning coach, AP Coach of the Year, Dawn Staley, making her way into the Bru Brooklyn Academy of Music. Of course, she's here to support Camilla Cardoso, coming off most outstanding player in the Final Four, national champion, a projected lotto pick. The question, simply where she will fall in. And of course, South Carolina has cemented its place as one of the strongest programs in women's college basketball. They rank in the top five in WNBA draft history, number one overall picks, first round picks, rookie of the year, and MVP winners by college. Aaliyah Boston, the number one overall pick just a year ago, and also went on to win rookie of the year. And she was making her way into the Brooklyn Academy of Music. And now, Don Staley joins myself and Andrea Carter here at the desk. Coach, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. You were in Cleveland, Paris, had your parade. Now you're in Brooklyn. The PJ getting a lot of miles, Don. Uh, uh, it, it, the, not the PJ, okay. no. no. The Delta <laughs> miles. So the Delta. Delta. I'm uh, trying to get the 360. <laughs> she just got paid by Delta just now. You said that. 100%. We love that. We love that status for you. But listen, between Temple and now South Carolina, you've had 16 players that have been drafted to go to the next level. What is it like for you as you reflect, uh, looking at some of these women who you've known since they were teenagers, take this next step? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. I, I, I got into coaching just for this, just to be a dream merchant for young players because basketball has been great to me. I've, got, I've gotten everything out of my career. I want somebody else to feel what I was feeling because it's a great life. Um, I never had a draft day like this, <laughs> but I, I'm so happy for all of them. I know pretty much all the draftees, and I see them, and I'm so proud of them, even if they did not play for me. But the ones that do play for me, Camilla, I am so happy. Her mom's here. Her sister's here. They get to see the, the sacrifice and the dream come true for her. You know, when you, you just mentioned Camilla, so we're going to get right to her because when a team is looking at Camilla and you were going to tell them what they're getting when they draft her, what would you say? Um, there, there aren't very many bigs that's 6'7", that's, that's mobile, that shoots over 60% in the paint. Now, we haven't even tapped into her, her mid-range because she can shoot the mid-range. I hope, I hope whoever gets it, Kirk Miller, I hope you force her to take 15-footers. <laughs> yeah, Kirk Miller at number two but she rebounds the basketball, she runs the floor, she is a point guard's dream. Mm -hmm. She's gonna make somebody's life easier. What about the intangibles? What about, because we've seen Camilla and she's shy. What, what would you tell them as far as who she is as a person? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, Camilla is a Taurus, okay? Once you get to know us, you'll <laughs> love us, but it's gonna take some time. We're gonna need a coach that's gonna pour into her, tell her exactly what he wants from her. Yeah and she's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she's gonna be quiet. She's gonna go about her business. She's gonna, she's gonna keep the main thing the main thing. If you want a relationship with her, it's gonna, it's gonna be on the coaches um, to forge that relationship. But once it's there, she'll love you for life. Yeah. There's another budding relationship that will be happening as soon as this draft starts, and that would be Caitlin Clark going number one overall, teaming up with Aaliyah Boston, who of course you coached. What to you is most enticing about the two of them together running the floor on the same team? Um, I, I think both of them really haven't had a point guard mm. that that distributes. And I don't think Caitlin has a big that is as smart as Aaliyah that can play on both sides of the basketball. The pick and roll, the, the pick and roll is going to be off the chain. <laughs> off the chain. Aaliyah is going to run like Stokey ran for, for Caitlin. So it's, it's, it's going to be totally off. I think it's a great incredible matchup, a one-two punch that Aaliyah is going to benefit greatly from. You know, we've talked about Camilla's personality. Aaliyah and Caitlin have the intangibles for you. When you're coaching some of your players on how to stick in the league and how to make an impact in the league, what are some things that you stress for them about coming to this level? Um, I, I stress listening to the vets. Get you a vet. Get you a vet that's going to take you under, under their wings. NECA was that for Zaya Cook. I love the fact that Zaya Went to, went to L.A. because I knew NECA text me, I got her. Okay, yeah. I, I need some vet. I need them to get under vets. I need them to, to watch film. I need them to get in the gym before and stay, stay late yeah. because yeah. It, it's all about those pro habits. Like, you're going to be tired, yeah. but make it a habit to show the coaches that you're serious about where you are. You, you may not play. Mm -hmm. Handle mm -hmm. it. You, 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 may not even, you may not even scratch the surface as far as what you can do. You gotta learn while sitting. Yep. You gotta learn while playing. Mm -hmm. 
and you got to be a communicator. Now, it's going to be hard for someone like Camilla because she doesn't talk very much. Yeah. But when she's talked to, she's a sponge. Our players are sponges. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to handle any situation if you tell them what it is that that you want them to do. Yeah. If you leave them out there to think, they're going to be just like any young person. They're going to mm -hmm. be thinking, oh, they don't like me. I'm not going to play here. And then it becomes a confidence thing once, when, once they do get on the floor. You want to keep them confident, let them know, even if they don't play. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly it's going to be such a big night for you and for the program. Stop me if you've heard this before, but congratulations, Coach. Congrats, Thank you coach. again for Thank the you. few minutes that you could give us here tonight. And wherever you jet off to on Delta Next, <laughs> enjoy yourself. We know you'll be doing dripping in. What are we wearing, Coach? Oh, Louis. Oh, just a little. If Coach was drafted in the, today, let me tell you, the Hello. fit would fit. The fit would fit. <laughs> <laughs> coach Don Staley, thanks so much for joining us here. Uh, Kevin, let's get it back to you.